So first I want to talk a little bit about the TTRPG uh, actual play discourse that went on yesterday about, let's see, what was it? This is going to be a bit rambly. I'm going to do a Twitter thread later. That'll be more succinct. And the the cost involved and what people expected and what people wanted out of these things that we do. And, and if you don't know, I, I produce... Uh, Quite a few things here and over Twitch, quite a few actual plays. And so I'm talking a bit from experience. I, I like to think, you know, just me. And one, let people like what they like. Some of y'all want these highly produced, edited things, and those cost a lot of money. And are you getting together with a bunch of people and supporting those shows with with enough money to do these things that you want to see? Looks like no. So yeah, that that's the first bit. I mean, I, I'm going to talk from the producer angle and what what it takes to. Do all this. First of all, I need assets from people. And that overlays, music. And you know, uh, other links you need to appear on screen. That can take me an hour to set up. So there's some of my cost in that setting this up. I want this stuff at least a day before. So all the artists you have to pay to deliver those things to me and then pay me for my time to assembling it all and then paying me for my time the 30 minutes before that you you know everyone kind of needs to be in the call and getting everyone together doing all the camera checks the audio checks the subtitle checks all of that and that's time that I need to be paid for too and then there's the actual play, two, three hours. That, again, more time. And it's a lot of time, a lot of effort. Now, I, you know, if you want to go to my current rate, go to my Ko-Fi. It's right there. So depending when you look on it, that may change. Look, look at this, and that may change. But yeah, y'all want a lot. Or very little. And. It, it's just not feasible. Uh, these things are expensive. Now then. And I'm just me. One person. Doing this. You know. Not in some big professional studio. Or anything like that. I just. It, it took me two years to. Mikey. Hi. Welcome on in. It took me two years to build up. What I have here. And that was just investing what little money I make and what's happening. We're talking about the current uh, TTRPG actual play discourse, a bit of what happened yesterday and where someone tweeted about, hey, what don't you like in actual plays? And I'm just going over some of the, what the actual cost is of all involved versus what I get paid to do and things like that. So, let's see here. Uh, so, let's see. I, I lost my train of thought. One moment. You're definitely worth it, though, man. You're fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So, there's... Oh, and, and hi, Pluto Cleric. I uh, tried to say hi to everybody that comes on in and says something in chat. So, hey. Thank, thank you all for being here. So, there's all that that goes into my time now then my current rate oh okay well, I was going with my current rate is based on a reasonable assumption of what lower budgets can afford and then everything is different for me uh, based on your budget and what what you can do I, I created a base for myself 
and then I adjust from there. And sometimes, sometimes that means free, especially for charity things. And uh, it took, uh, like I was saying, it took me, you know, two years of not doing much and just investing what I had to get equipment. I have a lot of things that are that are used that I got from friends. Uh, that I, I was just lucky enough to, you know, purchase at a reduced price. Most people are may not get that opportunity. Uh, and you know, my my PC is not the latest and greatest by any stretch. So you can do this for low cost. There is a lot you can do for low cost and and free uh, to produce one of these things and to produce a, a live play. And so there's there's the cost, right? There's all this time, effort from me, and I want to see you. Sure, I can do an overlay or two. It's not going to be as good as if you hired an artist to make one. Hire an artist to make one. Just do it, right? I, I would rather see, I would rather have a little less money and see money go towards other people than you put all this other stuff onto me. And, you know, it, ed, editing things down, that that's extra cost to somebody. And those, that can be hundreds of hours of, uh, or hundreds of dollars of work easily for, if you want a masterful editing job. And sometimes in actual plays, we're all, most of what I do is low budget, independent, people who don't have that and it's like okay well i i'll also do what i can to help if you've created some sort of rapport with me you know if you need a little bit of cutting here and there you're right before it could be hundreds of hours too yeah oh yeah so if you need you know a little bit of editing i can do a little bit of editing i can cut down a little here cut down a little there cut that out here and there Add some dissolve so it looks nice. Send out the product. Right? So there's a little bit I'm also willing to do. But again, I may not see any extra money for that. And so... What I'm... I'm sorry. This is... Again, if you're just coming in, this is going to be a bit rambly. I'm going to try to do a Twitter thread that's a little more concise. But uh, So what funds we generally have to work with is not a lot. And we do our best with what we have. And some people are just doing this for fun and making a hobby, hobby of it. And that's fine too. You know, do this for joys of it. Do this because you love it. I, I love TTRPGs. I I love video tech. That's why I kind of mash both these things and produce the streams that I do. Right, and uh, you know I'm fortunate enough to get paid on occasion for these things. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm not making money off my channel yet, really. So that's why I make myself learn how to do it all myself. And it's a lot of work, so I totally get it. DMT Borg, Tony, hey! And you do it well, thank you. And so, yeah, and... You know, so I, I, was, I was talking about uh, equipment just a bit ago. And then I, I went to college. I have a degree in... Uh, you know, film video studies and all that stuff. Yay, great, right? And I, I worked in video production for 20-some years, and I've watched countless hours of YouTube videos on getting all this stuff working together. And there's not a lot uh, built around TTRPGs. Most of the stuff you see on YouTube about running a stream is going to be for you playing a video game 
and not necessarily a whole TTRPG thing. So that's why I offer a class in it again on my Ko-Fi. Basically, go pay me for to do stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, the guidance you gave me was immensely helpful. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. And uh, Tony runs a, a DM underscore T Bork here does his own uh, actual play show, which is quite fun. It's called Action Packed. Uh, you can drop your link in, in the chat for your current home for the show. And uh, you know, does it out of his home, safely out of his home with a few friends. Has you know, a whole setup going on of tables and people with them. And that, that was a lot of money on him. And doing it for the love of it, right? And sadly, not last night, plumbing issues. Aw. <laughs> That's okay. Still, drop the link. You you, you deserve it. Uh, and so we're all doing these things at various levels, at various degrees, and for various reasons. And so my other point is don't lose the fun in it. Just because someone doesn't want you, uh, wants you to be a professional actor or whatever demand they have upon you, I... I just kind of want your show to look all right and get you out there because one, maybe you, you need practice on it and you practice by doing, right? And you learn and you're going to have some great shows. You're going to have some not so great shows. It, it happens. It's fine. It's live. It's happening in front of us. And to me, that's the exciting thing is producing these things live and just the chaos among what happens during that table, during that rolls. And some people want the edited experience of that. Both are okay. However, don't place those demands on everybody. That's not fair. That, you know, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy and realize a lot of people do a lot of work to entertain you and it's all fine and you're not going to like some stuff that's fine not everything is for everybody and it doesn't have to be and people are coming into this with various levels of experience you know I, uh, I was Trying to make a point of, um, you know, I, I, I got a Bachelor's of Science in Communications. Yay, right? And so the hours I've spent watching YouTube videos, the hours I've spent, you know, I, I volunteered at a public television station for a while and at, for a number of years. I did a lot there. And so how, a lot of how I work is based on my education and how, how is that? And then watching the hours, watching YouTube videos. Am I getting compensated for any of that? No. Do I expect to be? No. So there's a lot of work and training that goes into all these things. And even if you're just starting, it's a lot. Uh, there's so many things. I mean, I, I could spend hours just talking about what goes into putting the actual play together, right? And and it's so much effort and people pour a lot of themselves into these things. And so take a look at something maybe not as well produced as you think it should be and support smaller creators every now and then. I, I don't like the term smaller creators. Sorry, I'm trying not to use that term, but uh, more independent creators because they like their product just as much as other people who have some of the funds put into theirs. And uh, let's see, Tony, truth, the fun is everything. Our mediocre but loved by all show is currently on twitch.tv slash dm underscore tbork at 7 p.m. CT on Tuesdays. So there you go. Watch the show. 
Tony's a good DM. Uh, indeed, I was lucky to have the space, time, and funds to set up what I've got, but people can have fun in whatever ways they've got. None of it is wrong. Exactly. Exactly that. No one's fun is wrong. And, and some of the demands I was seeing people place upon what they want out of actual plays, you know, the, the money isn't there in, in this space currently. For all those things to happen. And I know a lot of people aren't investing in other people. So uh, you want those things out of all these shows. It It's upon you organizing and driving funds to those shows. The shows have Ko-Fi set up. You can support the players on the shows. You can Go to their Twitters and retweets and likes and things like that. You have to support people in order for them to make stuff up. And, you know, you want to pay players and cast if you can. You know, I I do charity streams largely on this channel. And I, I really don't have much to pay anyone with. I, you know, I... Uh, It, it's hard. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, the things I do for other people, occasionally it's free, occasionally it's a different rate than what my base is. And yeah, and th that's one thing. If you are getting into this and you want to produce on any level, that's a slightly different conversation. Uh, I'm produce on any level. Um, and, and, and you want to look at getting paid for it, create, create a base rate for yourself. And then go from there and and be willing to work within people's budgets, especially with within the TCRPG space. We're all kind of creating and a part of in so many different ways at so many different levels. And, you know, appreciate people's time and energy that they put into things. So yeah, let people like what they like, you know, celebrate the joys as, as we say, and yeah, there, there's some stuff you can do to make things a little better, a little easier. And, you know, there, there are ways to improve in the space that's free and, but there's some demands which are just unreasonable for so many shows. And Figuring out that line and where that is for people is, I'm not going to say that's easy either. And uh, it takes a lot of energy. Like, uh, another thing would be, you know, so I have my equipment now, and it's good-ish for now. But in a few years, I'm going to need to upgrade. Will I have the money to do that? I, I don't know. Because we're also in a space that requires technology and that technology moves through iterations. Uh, we, you know, we like to say rapidly or at least more rapidly than it ever has before in, in the past. And that's a, lo a lot of cost too, that sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm basically charging for my time, not the cost I've sunk into equipment, right? And I, I haven't, I haven't made it all back yet. And that, that's just part of doing this. You do it because you love it and because you can get paid occasionally and I mean, that, that's why I do it. <laughs> I should say, I shouldn't project that onto you. you. Um, and so, support what people do. Find the stories you like. It's okay to not like something. It's okay to like something. But think about the demands you're putting on a show. And yes, there's a degree of success with 
doing things, but think about those. Think about who you're asking to do what and, and look at their Twitters and things like that and realize some of that may not be there for them. And that doesn't make them any less of a show. Sounds like good reasons to me. <laughs> yeah, hey, thanks. And, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, there's a lot to go in there, and there's a lot of support and going on. And, you know, I want to see people succeed in this space, too. That's why I offer classes on training how to produce things and, you know, little shortcuts here and there on how to do things and what skills I bring to the table and I think you should bring to the table. And so if, if you want to up your experience, I want to make that available in some form, right? So that's why you go to my Ko-Fi, you go to the commissions tab, you can find, yes, this is the personal plug segment. You can find why I charge to go to spend two hours with me and I'll Tell you what I do and, you know, say, hey, now that we've created this rapport and yeah, we can, well, let's talk a little more on what you want. Or if you just want to hire me for your show too, that that's all fine. And so, you know, people that want you to do all these things before they even look at your show, come on. We're, we're all in different places. We're all at different budgets. We're all doing this for a variety of reasons. And, you know, if you want to say you want to get better at doing X, Y, Z, there, there are resources. Now, what the community needs to do and what I'm hoping to kind of do too is create a some foundations to start making hey this this seems to be good production at a reasonable cost right like again go to my ko-fi you can see my what i what i charge for a couple hours of my time to learn producing basics and so we need these resources in the community to help build up everybody uh available and Make sure that that is time paid for as well. And, you know, I uh, I want to get better at this or I think I need to learn this. There's opportunities to do that, but there's not a big sort of collective space within the TTRPG community to really do all that. So it's still a lot of grabbing from here, there, and everywhere. And so I'm, you know, I can offer on producing a stream. I can help you do that, make that look good, and go over the skills you need and all of that there. And yeah, and it, you know, if you want to know that stuff, hey, it's a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> that's what that's what I'm here for, but so many people have so many stories they want to tell, and we can't watch it all. And there's a lot of independent creators doing it just because they love love it, not expecting to make money as it's a hobbyist thing. And we're all going to meet with various things. And it's tough, and it's all okay. We can get there. Of course we can do better at things. But to immediately expect that out of everything is not practical, not reasonable it, currently within our, our community, within our space. It takes a lot of investment and time and energy to do these things. Now, I, I just talked about what it takes to produce a thing. I'm, I didn't talk about what the players do. They have to, you know, they create their characters. They have to kind of look at their characters, think about where they're going, 
do they do makeup or cosplay before the call? That's extra time, extra of their time. Where's the money for all that? You know, uh, so people put a lot of passion and a lot of time into actual plays. And they're going to look vastly different and sound vastly different. And that's okay. The, the one constant thing, I suppose if there's one rule I can say out of anything is that make sure your audio is good. Uh, for whatever reason, people enjoy good audio and, you know, if the video crackles or blips or whatever, they're more forgiving of that. This is just an in general thing rule that kind of permeates throughout, uh, film, video, what have you. So we tend to like good audio and do things to get yourself to a level of good audio and there's a lot of free tools out there to help with that. And, you know, I I have the equipment I need because I work a certain way. I need to touch buttons and have sliders and things. And that's just how I work. That's more efficient for me. Uh, maybe it's not more efficiently for you. And there are free tools out there that you can use that have sliders on there and everything. Steven, I audio seems to always be the one thing to get right if you can. Yeah. Yep. So if I had any advice on doing this, work, work on your audio, invest in your first investment should be a, a good mic. Um, you know, the Elgato wave three is what? 150 some. There's uh, Blue Blue Yeti. They make fabulous products. You know, this this mic here is... Uh, well, I can't hold on the camera for you to see it well other than this little bit here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it costs more than that. And the, again, this is because I got it from a friend who and used, right? That's how you're hearing my sound, but do what you can to create good audio. That'll be the, that'd be my biggest tip. Um, and just don't worry about sound effects or anything. Just make sure everyone's voice comes through nice and clear and work with people a bit on that. And uh, that's probably the best I can do for just a uh, general tip on everything. Like I said, I'm going to try to Twitter thread this later. And this again is a bit rambly and it's going to be because I just sorted out some thoughts on it today, but again, it comes down to, you know, don't go into a stream and dunk on a create uh, someone's actual play because it's not to the quality you think it should be. And it doesn't have this or that or even if it has this or that, you're still making comparisons to other things and saying, well, these things are obviously poorer than these things. No, they, we're all at different levels here. We're all... We're, this is such a different market than anything that's come before it. And we want it to be one thing because we understand that one thing, right? We, we have, we've had year decades of this business model in film and TV. And now here comes the internet where everyone has all these tools and everything, and we can't create these things. It, you know, there are broadcast standards because just to get your signal somewhere, required a certain level of technology and a certain level of dialing in and fine tuning things just to get your signal across the air to someone's rabbit ears. And that was broadcast quality because it took a lot of technology. It took a lot of, you know, I'm going to say words that maybe some of you don't know, uh, mon uh, looking at waveforms 
of you know an oscilloscope so just different things and going okay this is broadcast quality if this line on this device here is you know these waves hit this point and we know we're sending out a good signal and that it has proper color not that it has you know all these great colors but it has enough color that and enough strength that we can send it to your tv and it looks good that's broadcast quality It'd be like judging the quality of novel based on the quality of the paper it's printed on. Exactly. Exactly. And so, let people enjoy what they enjoy. If something's not for you, don't watch it. Don't go in, don't complain about someone else's video. They are doing their best, right? It's like, uh, I'm sorry. I just, there's a certain mentality I get frustrated with. And it upset me to see some of that discourse yesterday on these things. And so, you know, like what you, it's okay to like what you like. It's okay to not like what you don't like. But don't go into someone's channel and complain about it. And because we're all at different spots, we all have different expectations. We don't have, you know, we, there's no standard, there, there's no technical standard. Uh, other than a few things like Twitch has a page of, you know, here's, here's what you need to be able to broadcast at uh, 720p and 1080p. You know, here, here's the number, here's the numbers you need to, to fill in. Here's the relative speed you need. And that's all we really have to go on. We, you know, there isn't a broadcast standards place and there doesn't have to be for what we do in this space uh, and it's both exciting and frustrating to be in this space because there's so much out there and there's all these people expressing all these stories of, from all different walks of life and that's cool and we're doing it in a way we never could before that was never available before and yeah, making money on this is tough because we don't have decades of doing this. We, we're we still kind of figuring out how. And, you know, the, our next breakthrough is going to be something not like Critical Role at all. Don't know what that's going to look like in, in the actual play space here. It's going to be something different. And, And whatever that is, whoever happens to strike that particular lightning in the bottle, that'll be the new model to go after. Right? So we're ever changing. We again, we have some things we can do to make ourselves look good. And oh, okay, another tangent. We also have to realize that we're doing these things largely over the internet. Everyone's internet. We don't, because of, at least in the U.S. here and around the world, the, the, your internet experience, just the bits going out and coming in can vary widely. You may not even have great internet. Your video might be fuzzy because that's just where you live. And, you know, you have maybe one or two choices of providers and there is so much that can go wrong between with that connection that can go wrong between here and say I'm producing so between me and the zoom call that you're on there there's a lot right that comes through there's a lot of packets of data that need to be at a certain speed to keep your video constant and that's another thing things go wrong sometimes and that's okay too because 
that's just the nature of you know doing it live as it were and i like i like doing i like the live plays i like the sort of chaos that loves it would i like to do uh shows that are more edited and stuff sure you can you show me you can afford an editor and uh bring that down i'll i'll produce it it's a different it's a different mindset it's a different uh, way of thinking about things and doing it and realizing where you can stop and cut things and, uh, you know, do things again. And so that's an entirely different mindset doing a produce show than uh, a live play. And then, and also speaking, one more speaking of quality thing while I'm on that topic. So there's the calls coming into the, everyone calling into their Zoom I'm just using Zoom as, as an example. It could be Google Meets, whatever you use. doesn't matter. Uh, so, you know, five people, individuals, internets coming into my internet. And then my internet going out to all of you. Right? Like, or uh, in the case of Zoom, they all go to a Zoom thing. The Zoom thing comes to me. But the Zoom thing is only making each individual connection. And then I take the Zoom thing. And yeah, it it's a lot. And <laughs> and so there's so much that goes into these things that we can't control. Would I love to be doing these things in a studio environment again? Oh, yes, I would. You know, if you have a studio and you want me in your production booth, I would love I would love that opportunity again. But I also love being in my home and doing this thing too uh, and pressing all the buttons and making sure I deliver as high quality stream for your audience as I can. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, you know, what what's the phrase? Uh, uh, don't yuck on someone's yum, I think. Let people enjoy what they want. And if you don't like it, fine. You don't have to, but don't go into a chat. Don't go to a discourse saying, oh, all these things about live plays are terrible. People do a lot of work to give you entertainment that's relatively free or low cost. What's a... What's a sub per month on, on Twitch? Four bucks? Five bucks? What's your cable bill? What's your satellite bill? What's your Netflix HBO Max bill? Per month? Yeah, there, there's a vast difference of quality of things, but it's all the entertainment you choose to consume and what you're paying for, right? And what you're not paying for. And believe me, we know what you're not paying for. <laughs>